All right, here's my 2011 Odyssey, still going strong. So we're gonna be using the uh, 12 volt accessory plug here in the back. And I checked the manual and it can handle 12 volts and um, 10 amps. So according to the EcoFlow 2, or uh, Delta 2, uh, it's supposed to only draw eight amps, so that should work. All right, so let's turn it on. All right, so it's a 58% uh, charge. So we get a good uh, sense of how much it can charge while it's in here. So you just flip it over. And this is the side where you plug in the uh, 12 volt uh, outlet. Also, that's what, this is where the uh, solar panels go in, it looks like. So, All right, so this is a uh, plug with a particular direction on it. Let's make sure you use it in the right direction. So that went in easily. And we plug it in here. I don't think this is active unless I turn the engine on. So, so what we'll do is we'll um, leave it like this for a minute. I'll go turn on the engine, then we'll come back and see if it started charging. All right, the engine's on, and it looks like it's charging at about 100 watts, so 96 watts. That's about right. It's supposed to draw 8 amps at 12 volts, so 96 watts. All right, great. So we'll just leave it in here. I'm going to wedge it in here. I don't want it flopping around. In fact, I'm going to raise this seat up because I don't want... If I get in an accident, I want this thing flying you know, up to the front of the car. So I got my... Uh, tools here in this bag. I should keep it in there. And then I've got this other thing with some emergency triangles. I'll put that. Let me slide this up toward the front there. It's mostly going to move around when I stop, so it's going to try to go forward. So. All right, so that should be in there solid, and we can see that it's still charging. So good. So we have about an hour drive. We'll check it and then we'll have an hour back, so then we'll check it on both sides. All right, so we drove a little bit more than an hour and we've gone up to 68%, so that sounds about right. Um, it's going, it's charging at around 100 watts, 96 watts, and we went an hour, a little over an hour, so it went up 10%, which is 10% of the capacity. So we're going to plug it, we're going to go to an event, then we're going to come back later, and then we'll plug it back in and uh, charge it up on the way home. All right, let's see how we did. So we're going to plug this. And it only took about 45 minutes to come back, so we went up to 75%. So that's good. So uh, charging this up in your car works fine. Just double check your um, uh, the amperage that your uh, socket can handle. Again, in this case, for the uh, 2011 Odyssey, it was uh, 10 amps at 12 volts, and this only draws by it limits itself to drawing only 8 amps. So that that worked for this car, but you'd better double check your car before you do this. All right, we're going to do an unboxing of our EcoFlow Delta II extra battery. So this is the I ordered this directly from EcoFlow cuz they had a 50 $50 off uh, coupon code. So this is the box it comes in. The cardboard is pretty actually doubled cardboard, so it's Seems to be packaged very well. Uh, it's got the usual uh, lithium battery warnings on the side. Let's open it up. So the manual's on top, and uh, it's pretty thick, but I think it's in different languages. I, I checked the manual online; it's only a couple pages. The main takeaway is that you shouldn't, you can't plug it in while the uh, EcoFlow Delta II main unit is turned on. So. So since we're using it right now for uh, a UPS for the 3D printer, I'll have to wait until I'm done printing for the day to actually hook it up. But we need to take a look at this and see what's what's in the box. So the manual's here. I'll open this up in a minute and we can take a look at it. And there's styrofoam on top. And here's the battery. And then I read, also saw online there's, there's a compartment on the top. And... Uh, Got a nice uh, silica gel packet in here for uh, keeping everything dry. And uh, here's the connecting cord that goes from the EcoFlow 2 Delta 2 main unit to the battery. 
So it's a heavy duty cable. It's a eight eight uh, AWG gauge. So that means it can handle at least 20 amps, maybe 30 amps. I'm not sure. So at least 20 amps. And this can close it up. So that's where you can store the cord when you're not using it. Let's take it out of the box. Outside, and you can see. I'll zoom in. You can see the connecting cord, connecting cable. This is the connector where the cord goes. It's it's uh, keyed, so it only goes go in one direction. That's a good idea. And on the back, there's some ridging. But this just feels like plastic, so I don't think this is uh, like a heat sink or anything. I think it's just for decoration. This side just has EcoFlow. That's the main thing you want to look at is the front. So here's the front display. Let's make it up a little bit. There. Here's the front display and the power switch. So let's try turning it on. There we go. Okay, so it's got 30% charge. So I've got to spend some time charging this up once we hook it up. But it's going to be the end of the day, so I can charge overnight. So when it comes to the factory, it had some charge, which is nice. Let's just show that it's working. All right, so now, again, we can't plug this in until we're done using the uh, main unit. So we'll turn it off for now. And then uh, once I'm done printing for the day, I will hook it up and we can see how it works. All right, here's our current setup. So we have the EcoFlow Delta 2. And it's 99% charged. And we've got our new battery, secondary battery. So we're going to stack that on top like they do uh, in the pictures. nest in there better but just kind of sits there okay well it's a nice compact uh, arrangement so now we're going to turn this power off to this one because you're not supposed to hook up the wires until the power is off so it seems to only turned off the display you have to unplug it to turn it off hmm Try unplugging it. Unplug the load. Let's try just unplugging the load completely. And then let's try turning it off. Nope. All right, let's unplug the battery itself on the wall. Now it's unplugged from the wall. And it shut off. Alright, so if it's still plugged into the wall with power, it does not want to shut off. That's interesting. Okay. Alright, so now it's off. This is the, the battery was already off. I turned it off earlier. So. Alright. That's good to know. That's not, that's not what the manual says. Alright, so here's our cable. So we'll take this apart and then we'll plug it in. All right, so both sides are the same. I see it's got a keyed connection here. So if we flip open this cover, the pointy side goes to the right. If I can get that in there. Okay. Pointy side goes to the right. All right, so it's in there snug. And here's the cover on the bottom battery. So it's on the right hand side if the display is pointing towards you. And the pointy side goes.
goes to the right. All right, I'm gonna put this camera down and make sure everything's in there solid. Ah, when I plugged it in, it turned on. That's <laughs> that's not very helpful. I guess because it has power now. Okay. All right. Well, it's not charging. Let's just see what it says before we do anything. So, so the bottom, the the main unit still says 99 percent, and the top unit says 30 percent. So, I'll have to watch the video and see what it was. I think it was about 30 percent before, maybe 31 percent. All right. So now we're gonna plug the plug the uh, All right, now we're going to plug the power back in. Charging power. And hopefully it'll start charging the battery. I'm going to char I'm going to plug I'm going to go ahead and plug the load in again so it's ready for tomorrow. There. Okay. So now I hear the fan come on. And it's starting to charge. And the bottom is drawing 600 watts, less than 600, which is what we want. And the top is getting uh, about 250 watts. So it's going to take a long time. I'm, this is uh, 10 o'clock at night, so I'm just going to let it run overnight. And by tomorrow morning, by tomorrow morning, it should be all charged up, I expect. Again, I'm not, I don't want to charge more than uh, 600 watts because I'm afraid uh, it'll trip the breaker. Because there's other things on, like the garage door openers on this same circuit and other things. So, now, you remember from the video earlier when I had hooked up to the generator, I cranked up the uh, charging wattage to 1,200 watts. And supposedly, with the battery plugged in, the generator is supposed to be able to charge it at 1,500 watts. So we'll see if that works. Because the uh, um, generator itself can put out uh, uh, 3,000 watts. So there's plenty of wattage to charge this up. All right, it's the next morning. I don't hear any sound, so it must be all charged up. Let's double check. So check the main unit. Actually, they both came on when I pressed that. So the main unit was 100% charge. 99 hours of runtime and the extra battery shows the same so it's like we're in business and uh, next thing is to try running the refrigerator for eight hours if you like this video please give it a thumbs up post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond that's all for now but more videos are coming and if you want to see them please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up.